선수들도 대피시켰다고 덧붙였습니다. North Korea rattles the world yet again, firing artillery rounds at the South Korean island and prompting ominous warnings. Our military should show this through action rather than administrative response. There were calls for a united front from the U.S. Special Envoy on North Korea, who traveled to the region earlier this week after Pyongyang revealed an apparent uranium enrichment plant. We call on all members of the international community to condemn the DPRK's acts and to make clear that they expect the DPRK to cease all provocations. From Europe to Asia, a chorus of strong disapproval. Even Russia, North Korea's former ally, did not mince words. I think that what happened must be condemned. All eyes are on China, North Korea's ally and its biggest trading partner. They share a long border, and the Chinese could cut off North Korea's most important link with the outside world by stopping shipments of food, fuel and weapons though Beijing has not indicated it will do so. China is urging calm on all sides. Much is made of China's leverage on its next-door neighbor, but analysts caution, don't overestimate it. Yes, it does have more influence than other players, but we have to remember China does not have absolute influence. Beijing is working to bring North Korea back to the negotiating table. North Korea walked away from the last round of the six-party talks aimed at getting Pyongyang to give up its nuclear weapons program in exchange for economic aid and political concessions. The talks have stalled for years, but analysts say the latest conflict may prove China's point in trying to revive them. It's important for us to remember that during the six-party talks, these conflicts were less likely to happen well, without such a mechanism, we see such bloodshed. Observers say it all comes down to building trust, a difficult task. And here, China can play a unique role as an emerging world power and potential peacemaker. Jaime Flor Cruz, CNN, Beijing.